Hi there, I'm Brian Whitmore, director of the Russia program here at SEPA, and this is a vertical video. Pretty soon, smartphone manufacturers will have a choice to make. Do they want to become part of Vladimir Putin's surveillance state? Because that may be the price of remaining in the Russian market. A bill working its way through the State Duma would require all foreign smartphones and devices sold in Russia to pre-install Russian applications. The legislation was initiated by the Kremlin and all major factions in the Duma have signed on to it. Its sponsors say it's a consumer-friendly move that would make it easier for senior citizens to use smartphones. But that is not really what it's about at all. Russian apps are notorious for being very curious about their users' data and very generous about sharing that data with the Russian security services. Authorities in Lithuania, for example, have raised alarm bells about Russia's very popular Yandex Taxi app, which they claim is hoovering up all the data on users' phones and sending it to Moscow. Another popular Russian-made app, FaceApp, which shows us what we'd look like when we're older, made international headlines when it was revealed that it was stealing users' biometric data. This is yet another example of how the Putin regime is weaponizing globalization, taking the very things that we once believed would be tools of freedom and turning them into instruments of repression. One has to wonder where all this is going. Will smartphone manufacturers play ball with the Kremlin and turn into enablers of his regime? Or will they decide that the Russian market is not worth the moral and security risks that are swiftly becoming the price of admission? Keep telling us what you think on Twitter and on Facebook. I'm Brian Whitmore, and this was a Vertical Video.